Exam tip for FCE Lesson 2. FCE Speaking Test. The day of the exam there are four parts in the FCE Speaking Test. This lesson's exam tip will be about speaking part 2. This part of the test is called the long turn, because both you and the other student, sometimes referred to as student B, will take turns to give long answers, or long speeches. In this part the examiner will give you two color photos. You will have to talk about them on your own for one minute. When you have finished, the examiner then asks the other student a question about your photos. The other student should then talk for about 30 seconds. You shouldn't talk when the other student is talking. Then student B gets two photos and has to talk about them for one minute. When he or she was finished talking, the examiner then asks you a question. You will now have about 30 seconds to answer. In this part of the test, nobody should interrupt you. Useful phrases for comparing and contrasting, they both show, or, have. They're both quite similar because they both show, or, have. There are, verb plusing form, adjectives, in both photographs. Both of them have got, blank, in them. The top one looks more, blank, than the bottom one. This photo was taken during the day whereas, or, while the other photo was taken at night. Useful phrases for expressing your likes, dislikes, or preferences, I really like, or love, or enjoy, I don't really like, I'm not very keen on. I much prefer, I'd prefer, I'd much rather. The thing I like the best is, Useful phrases for expressing your opinions or, feelings, or reactions, I don't think he's very happy or, involved. I'm pretty sure that she's going to. I'm not sure whether. I think it'd be better if they chose or, went. I think we should pay less, or choose. It makes me angry or, worried or, smile or, want to. I find it really interesting or, awful. It looks a bit strange or difficult. She looks as if he is. Then use a verb plus ing form. Advice for the day of the exam. Do not describe the photos given to you. In any case the examiner will remind you of this. He or she will ask you to compare the photos and say something about them. Practice this exercise at home without setting yourself a time limit, then reduce the time you give yourself to produce an answer. This will help you when you are under pressure, on the day of the exam.